name is Cuppy Cates, and welcome back, finally, <laughs> to Zoo Quest, an actual episode, not just a short or a replay. I'm doing so much better. My voice sounds better. I still have voice cracks here and there, but otherwise, it's returning to normal. So we're sitting here in our office right now, and we did, I did a few things behind the scenes while I was sick. I didn't do as much as I wanted because I was so sick that sitting here playing games was actually still hard. But I did get some stuff done. So I wanted to go ahead and click some of those, check those off on our boo to-do list. Ugh, I'm going to sip this cup of coffee. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for later. So we have finished the cow barn in one of our shorts. That is all done. The guest house windmill combo is halfway done. If you didn't see that replay, I highly suggest you go watch it right now. We still need to do the enchanting room. We finished the cellar mine. We did the dog yard. <laughs> we haven't done the staff teleporter yet. But that's something we're actually going to work on today. I have something fun to do with that. We finished the attic alchemy room. The greenhouse isn't done yet, and we're still working on the garden and orchard, but I will do that behind the scenes. What else? Technically, yes, we finished the boo. We haven't finished Boo Island, but we have finished the boo. It is all done with completing the mine in the cellar and completing the alchemy room up here. And then I don't know if y'all saw or not. I just made this an extra storage room for things that I don't really know what to do with because I do have mods that add things that I'm like, I'm never going to use that. And so they'll, they'll go in here eventually. But yes, I love this alchemy room, by the way. And I even started adding ingredients as I was shearing some plants to get more green dye. Some of those plants give you alchemy ingredients, so I was putting those in there as well. Okay, so I also went ahead and made myself food because we're going to do a little traveling around today. One of those things being... Look, guys. Oh... Again, if you didn't see that replay, go watch it. I'm so proud of that guest house. It's so close to being done. We're going to add a windmill on that side. And then the garden is going to spread all along the rest of that side of the island. And I think all that's left is the fruit, really, and then any other mods that give us crops. I also made a giant garden of wheat over there because I need a ton of wicker to finish the windmill. The design I made uses a lot of wicker. So yeah, <laughs> I've been doing stuff. Also, before I forget, I went ahead. Oh, are you okay there in the water? I'm going to push you out. I don't want you to drown. I went ahead and named this little one Savannah. So this is Savannah. This is Timothy's girlfriend. <laughs> we saw her a few episodes ago, but now she finally has a name. And then I'm going to race over to the other animal we named, and I'll meet you there. Well, it is definitely dusk, but that's all right. We do have our sleeping bag. So we're here by the sea locans and our paddlefish, who I have named Tank, because one of y'all suggested that name, and I just... Loved that name for this fish. It was also the only name suggestion, but even if it wasn't, I think I would have gone with it anyway. So this is Tank, our paddlefish. He is so cute, and he's still hanging out with our sea locans as they wait for an aquarium to be put in, oh, hopefully soon. Oh, I'm so excited. Today, we are going to decide where we start the zoo. So... I actually, how dare you spawn? I actually recorded an episode the day that I was so very sick and it was so bad because I was feeling so sick. I did not think it was salvageable. The only thing I got done, so trust me, you didn't miss anything, so don't panic. The only thing I got done was naming Savannah and Tank and getting the items together to start the watchtower 
in the pasture biome because I was still seriously considering going with building the farm first. But after much thought with that, I, I don't know. It just felt redundant. I've built the barn. We've got horses in there. I've built the sheep pen. Uh, speaking of which, our sheepmen are fine. You can shear them, apparently. So, they're a bit naked, and they don't grow their, they don't grow their hair back, or their, their wool back. So, they're naked forever, and I do have a name suggestion for them. I just have to pull it up so that we can name them, and I want to build them a village. But anyways, yes, I did actually record an episode before this, and... I completely scrapped it because I was so sick. It was such a mess and nothing happened. And everything that we did in that episode, we're going to do in this episode, but better. The only thing you missed was the naming and I told you about that. So yay. <laughs> okay. So what we are going to do right here in front of our notice board is we're going to roll a dice. I am a horribly indecisive person. It is a character flaw. <laughs> so... I'm letting fate decide where we are going to start the zoo. I wrote down eight biomes that we could potentially start with on my little bookie. So the pasture is one, forest is two, jungle is three, marsh is four, arctic is five, desert is six, savanna is seven, and ocean, which would be our aquarium, is eight. Um, and I thought about putting like dinosaurs as their own thing on that list. But as for dinosaurs, we might actually not do just a dinosaur region. We might put the dinosaurs in locations based on what has been discovered about them, where they would be biome-wise, because some might have been in a more deserty biome, some might have been in a more jungle biome, some might have been in a more foresty biome. Obviously, it's all speculation because we still know so very little about dinosaurs, but I think they should be in their respective biomes rather than being in one biome that they may or may not have lived in. So I hope you guys agree with that. All right, so now we're gonna roll a dice. I brought my Kirby dice bag, cause I love Kirby. I don't know if you could tell. I promise I have other clothes than this uh, <laughs> sweatshirt. I just love it so much that I wear it all the time. I wash it, I promise, it gets washed. <laughs> all right, I need a D20. Okay, we're actually gonna pull out my, uh, my Kirby dice from my Pathfinder game. My, my Kirby character. <laughs> I have different dice sets for characters. I highly suggest doing that. If you guys play D&D or Pathfinder, totally do it. Okay. There's a lot. Got my character moving around here. Okay. So this is going to be the dice we use. All right. And now we're going to... No, I need a D8. This is going to be the dice we're using. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I got six. Six is the desert. Oh, yay, my least favorite biome. Awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the desert biome. That's gonna be really interesting because I don't build in the desert very often. So probably what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to where I had placed all the stuff for the watchtower, which is gonna be our teleporter if I haven't already told you. And I'm going to carry it over to the desert and find a good spot. And then we're gonna have to do a few things to make sure we don't immediately die while we're working in the desert. I'm gonna do that and then I will meet you there and we'll talk about some of the things we gotta do. So I'm in the desert. And something awesome happened. I found another turtle. I think this is just a common box turtle. I'm not entirely sure. But we are going to go ahead and capture it. Ah! <laughs> awesome. I've made it to the savannah. And we are surrounded by desert. And immediately I am no noticing an issue. So... We are burning up. You can see my temperature gauge down there is hot orange. And that's because we are toasty. I think even if I took off my armor right now, we would still be toasty. So I'm going to go find, I'm going to go sit in this water for a minute while we figure out kind of where we want to put the watchtower. Uh, I'm on fire. 
So we're going to have to make uh, the jellied slime armor or we're going to have to make cooling liners if we want to be able to work in the desert. So we do have a few things that we will have to accomplish before we can even start building here. I'm not even sure we can build the watchtower just yet, but we can certainly find a good spot to put it. So I know you can't see my mouse, but I'm the little blue dot like right in the center there. That's me in the water. I'm the little blue dot right there. So as for a watchtower, what we might do is, let's see. I wonder if the brushland is just as hot as the desert. I'm trying to think of a place where we can put the watchtower and go ahead and build it without uh, overheating. So we might race over to this area with the, the, the brownish gray area, the brushland, and see if that doesn't make us explode into fire. And if it does, well, then we may have to put the watchtower on hold until we can get cooling liners for our armor. So I'm gonna head that way, and then hopefully I can keep cool when I get there. Ooh. 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 What is making that noise? Hello? Oh, hi! Oh my goodness, you startled me! You sound adorable, little kookaburra. No wonder there's an adorable song about you. Okay, so we're here in the brushland, and I'm still overheating. So what I think I'm gonna do is pick a spot, put the crate down, put everything in the crate, and then we're going to head over to the Arctic zone and start breaking ice to make ice cubes. If we have our ice that we need, let's see, are the little ice cubes in here somewhere? We can use it to make the, oops. there it is. The, oh, the gelled slime armor. But to make these, we need a bunch of ice cubes. I have some slime balls, and then we can always go search for Oozle and see if he won't give us some more for some apples. Whew, it's hot. So I found a little oasis over here, but unfortunately, oh goodness, it is not going to keep us cool so right now i am just putting what i can into this crate real quick so that when we do have the armor that we need in order to stay cool it's all in oh i'm sorry you lost your mom and there's snakes everywhere this place is so dangerous and i'm getting um hot was that a treasure slime my goodness I'm getting hot immediately. So, yes, yeah, so we need to get out of here and into the Arctic, but I think I like the way that that hill is. It overlooks the oasis. It also overlooks this spot over here, and that's a temple we haven't um, played with just yet. But I love the idea of having an exhibit go into that side of the hill would be really cool because I want to use the natural world to create these exhibits as well. So even though, yes, we won't have a whole lot of desert creatures, we might have dinosaurs that experienced life in the desert that we can put dinosaurs over here. But I also think a museum that has like dinosaur bones in it might be really cool. Okay, snake, please, 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 please don't hurt me. Please. I know. I know you're upset. I understand. Eh. Eh. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to go cool down. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that spot because of all the snakes that are right there. Oh goodness. Okay. I'm going to, let's see. 
I think that was everything other than the crafting table. We could put down a crafting table and at least one uh, sleeping bag. So when we get back here, uh, we have ourselves completely set up and we can just go. But we've got to make that armor. And then another thing we need to make, you guys, is a tranquilizer gun. So specifically for Zawa, I don't... Ah! <laughs> It hates me! Help! Help! No, I'm caught in a tree! Ah! Am I poisoned? <sighs> Snake bites hurt. I am not Steve Irwin. Bless him. Okay. Whew. Okay, maybe the snake will leave us alone while I put this stuff down. Oh my goodness, you guys. dangerous world you guys <laughs> it's so dangerous <laughs> I don't know how people <laughs> go into places like this and pick up snakes for a living you're amazing if nobody's told you I'm telling you right now you're incredible because not a lot of people would do that I'm one of them I would not do it I'll watch you do it all day long but I'm not gonna do it okay there we go everything is fine is everything fine? Am I about to be proved wrong? Is the snake coming after me again? Probably. There we go. We're all set up. I'm going to travel to the Arctic and we're going to get all the ice cubes. Ah, <sighs> That was a long boat ride. But we made it. But we're about to have the opposite problem we were having in the desert. Which is we're going to get very cold very quickly. So... I'm going to do a speed up here of me just breaking as much ice as I possibly can break. Do I have to break it with my bare hands? Oh, okay. Boy, it's not very giving in the ice department. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to speed this up and then hopefully we'll go back and we can start making some jelly slime armor. No. Oh, we have made it home. Hello, puppies. You gonna close? Oh, I missed you. Have you guys been eating? No, because you haven't been moving around. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping that when we start actually working in the desert area, we can just take them with us and they can run around with us while we build the exhibits. Oh, that'd be so great. Okay, so we do have five slime balls. It isn't the best, but with what we have, let's see how many of those bricks we can make. That is not very much. That gets us a helmet. Well, I guess actually, no. Let's make the bigger ones. So, perfect. Chest plate and pantalones. Okay, that's a start. Um, so then we need five. We need nine more. Oh, yes, I forgot, you guys. I did a little bit of mining behind the scenes because I was trying to get more materials to do stuff and I found a whole bunch of fossils. So we have a patchy cephalosaurus, we've got a nautilus DNA, we've got dilophosaurus DNA, and we have diplodocus DNA. Oh, we also have the sarco DNA and I have no idea how to say that DNA. <laughs> This is great! We haven't had this one yet. What about the Sarko? No, we haven't had the Sarko. 
Oh, the patchy is new too? We've got Nautilisk. Um, oh my gosh, was this all new? Everything except the Diplodocus. My gosh, you guys. We have so many dinosaur DNAs. Uh, I don't really want to use... Well, we can't use the bio goo. We can use this to make more. Uh, is it going to be enough, though? It's really not. No! We need more slime, and... <laughs> I can't find Oozel. Oozel kind of disappeared on us a little bit. Oh, no, Oozel. I'll have to look for Oozel before the next episode. You better not drown, Savannah. You better not. Don't you do it. I wonder if this will be enough, though. It might be. It might at least let us hang on a little bit. Mm. Can we make slime? Let's see. Oh, the jellyfish can turn into slime balls? I think I have jellyfish. So long as I didn't turn them into actual fish. Oh. That's the wrong jelly. It doesn't, it doesn't turn. Does this do anything? I can turn it into cooked fish. Well, I could go fishing for a minute and see if I can't find the right jellyfish. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Huh. <sighs> I need Oozle back. Okay, you guys. Another step in our mission. I'm pretty sure that that area right in the middle is a tar pit. And it said that we can use the tar drops to make more of our jellied uh, slime. So, hopefully, if we can make it up there really quick, we can make the rest of what we need and be cool and build the watchtower before the end of this episode. All right, time for some more sailing. Phew, we made it. I feel like all I have done is sail in this whole episode, but there's the tar pit right there. So now if I just grab a few buckets of these, I can actually go ahead. Yes! Oh, I got an a tar tartar sauce. <laughs> oh, good. This is going to be great. We might could use this for other stuff, too, eventually. I think I might do it. At, well, we don't need it that many times. But I might come back and grab some of this. This would be great for an exhibit or to explain uh, tar pits and what they did for the dinosaurs and discovering different fossils and stuff. Hello? You lost your door. I thought you should know. Where are, where are you, sir? I hear you, but I do not see you. Hello? Hello? Sir? Oh, there he is. Hey, what are your traits? Oh. Well, the one at the other village was better. He would give me an emerald for three bones. Yeah, he was way better. Sorry, no offense. <laughs> well, now that we have that, and of course I don't have a crafting table, we can go and make the rest of this slime, which I think we could just go ahead and do at the desert location and build the watchtower. So I think I'm just going to head straight there. The only thing is, is that I don't have any milk because I wanted to make sure that my buckets were empty for the tar. So I might make a quick stop at the house, grab some milk, and then I will meet you guys on the hill in the desert, and we're going to build this watchtower. We made it, and I made a friend, I think. I think they're a friend. Oh, I hear not friends, though. Okay. Where? Right here. I made what we needed. Oh, gosh, I see the snake. There's the helmet. <sighs> There's the booties. So now we remove our armor and put on this armor. Will it cool us down? Is it? Oh, it's working! Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so now that we know that it's working and I got milk, 
We're going to be fine to build this watchtower, so enjoy the replay, guys. Cuppy did a dumb. Uh, I forgot that I needed my saw, my chisel, and my wrench, and I left it in the chest to do the windmill all the way back <laughs> at the house. And I am like over time for this episode. I'm sure Cubby will, uh, Hubby will have to make extra cuts to make it all fit in a good amount of time. But we got started. It's starting to look really good. We got our armor so we can actually work on the zoo in the desert without overheating we'll be able to make exhibits you guys so this is just the start we're finally working on the zoo it's not just the boo anymore <laughs> yay all right well next time we will finish this watchtower and then we'll start looking for the desert creatures we need to start the zoo and we'll think about maybe some restaurants we might want or some like gift shop ideas or any other informational uh, buildings that you guys think we should have. Definitely leave suggestions in the comments below of what you would like to see in the desert portion of the zoo since that is what we rolled today. All right, if you like this episode, make sure you give the like a button a tickle and a poke and then subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Please feel free to join our Discord. The Discord is up, you guys, and it is in the description below. Click that link and bam, you're a part of the Discord. And you can start chatting with us and sharing any ideas, pictures you have, stuff you're doing in your game along with us. So definitely do that. And then don't forget to ring the bell next to the subscription button if you haven't already, so you get notifications of when I post Zoo Quest, Wolf Quest, or any of the other series here on our channel. I love you guys. I'm glad to be back and thank you for waiting for me. I'll see you next time.